Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you a haul. Uh, apologies for the kind of crappy lighting. It's totally dark outside right now, but that's okay because I still really wanted to film this haul. A couple things from Sephora, got some things from the drugstore, MAC, The Body Shop, ColourPop. So let's get started. From Sephora, I finally picked up the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I feel like I am the last person on the planet to try this, but anyway, this is the shade Fair Neutral. Yeah, I really like the consistency of this. I do love the Naked Foundation, so I figured I'd like the concealer too. This bronzer I have actually already shown you guys in my top five favorite bronzers for fair skin. I will link that video down below, but I did only purchase this last week or so and I have been absolutely loving it. It is the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in One Natural, which is just a really, really nice, natural, reddish brown tone. It's not too golden, it's not too orangey, it's just a really nice shade. Also from Sephora, I picked up this really cute uh, brow enhancer, which is just something to go like underneath your brow bone, basically, but I thought it would be really cute for like inner, inner eye highlight and like above the lip highlight. It's just like a, Looks like this. I have not even taken off the plastic. I just bought it literally today. So as you can see, it's just kind of like a big crayon-like deal. And there it is right there. It's slightly shimmery, um, but I really liked it because it had more of a natural glow to it. It wasn't like super super sparkly shimmery in your face because I absolutely hate those and I got the color O2 beige shimmer so I did go to Mac and I only got this one thing but I have been looking everywhere for a kind of blotting powder something that I could take on the go with me so I picked up this Mac blot powder and it's just a pressed powder comes with like a little thingy but I got light which is just pretty translucent. And I used it today and I feel like I'm looking pretty matte and I've had this face on for quite a few hours. So first impressions of this are I do really like it. Um, I tried to first apply it with the applicator and I felt like it just kind of brought out some dry patches in my skin, but then I used it with a stippling brush just very lightly and I loved it. On to the drugstore stuff. I picked up this Wet n Wild Color Icon eyeshadow palette and this is one that I think people have talked about for a really long time. It has just some like some really nice neutrally colors. Maybe let's swatch a couple right now to see if they are pigmented. Okay, whoa. Look at how beautiful those are. Oh my god, and they are so so pigmented. Look at that beautiful iridescent. And that's just some of them. Like I just swatched those bottom ones there. Oh my god. $4.99 well spent. I also picked up the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, you know, this really popular orange one. And I've actually bought this before and for some reason I didn't like it, but I just feel like maybe I got a dud because everyone loves it so much, so I just wanted to give it another try. I picked up this NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray because as you guys know, I'm super oily and I'm always looking for the next miracle worker to keep my oil less, you know? But I sprayed this on my hand in the store and I felt like it gave like a very tightening, mattifying effect, which to some people with dry skin, they might hate that. But for those of us with super oily skin, like it's actually like super appealing. So yeah, I just wanted to give this a shot. It was like on sale. I also picked up this CoLab dry shampoo. Now I had mentioned this in my March favorites in the orange can um, and I really liked it. It made my hair look amazing because my hair gets very oily very fast and it makes it look like super fresh. But I got a volumizing one and it makes my hair feel very gritty. This one just says sheer invisible so I assume that doesn't, that means it doesn't have any color. But yeah, I really like the orange one, so hopefully I like this one as well, just for more of a freshening up, not so much of like a volumizing thing. Okay, this is super boring and I didn't actually buy it, but I got a little sample of the Estee Lauder Double Wear in 1N1 because I have been wearing 1W1 for a long time and I just feel like it's 
too golden warm for me so if I like the one and one I'm going to get it. I got some makeup wipes and these ones are from Walmart. Super boring. They're the Equate brand and I actually really like these for taking off my makeup. I find that they are not dry. Like you know how some makeup wipes are like dry and they feel like you're pulling your face. These ones are really nice and I just keep them by my bedside for days when I'm too lazy to use my Clinique cleansing balm or things like that. And then I got some stuff from the body shop. So this thing here is the seaweed mattifying day cream and it's for combination oily skin no surprise there and when i tried this in the store i was super super amazed like i just put a little bit of it on the back of my hand and i felt like it really dried matte and was mattifying yet says it's hydrating moisturizes dry areas controls access sebum and shine so and it was like buy one get one 50 percent off so i got that and then I also bought this Aloe Gentle Exfoliator, which in my empties video, I had mentioned a different exfoliator from the body shop. I believe it was the Vitamin C Microdermabrasion, and I had been using that for a couple years now. Um, but I just really wanted to try something new, so I like this one. It's for sensitive skin. And the last part of my video are ColourPop things. Now, so I picked up four of the matte lippy sticks. This shade here is called Tootsie and it's kind of like a grayish rosy color. This next shade is called Brink, which is more of a terracotta dark nude. This next one is called Razor, which I think was formulated by YouTube beauty star. It's my Ray Ray. I think that's her username. This shade here is a little bit more peachy, but still very similar to Brink. And the last one is called Oh Snap. And this one is a little bit more of a nude shade. I got two of the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. This one is in Game Face, which is a really beautiful, like shiny penny copper color. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my God. And I also got the shade Cornelius, which I think was formulated by Kathleen Lights. I will say this looked a lot cooler tone on the website, but I still really like it. It's a very everyday shade, pretty much like a warmish brown. And the last thing I got from ColourPop was the new eyebrow gel stuff. This one's in the shade Blondie. I did try this out a couple times and I will say that I think it's a little bit too light for my eyebrows too, but it's not bad. Um, and I would recommend it for people to try because I do think it's a really nice formula. I think maybe next time I do an order, I will buy the taupey, more taupey color, whatever that's called. Or this Blondie is really for people with like very very light eyebrows anyway that is it for this haul video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you can always subscribe i put out new videos every single week and i'll see you in my next one bye